Previously on transmissions from Colony One. Your HCG levels are at 28, and this pregnancy test is reading positive. Why are you hiding something from? This isn't you. I'm going through something that I that I don't fully understand how to handle it, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to handle it. The thruster engine fell on Paul and crushed him. Paul, oh, what? And Elena, the, the fall killed her. I won't forget this, Tim. You dug your own grave. Mark my words. Vasily, what's going on? Connor, Tim, I'm back. You, Samuel Thomas Flynn, will be commander of Mexi-1. Uh, you can break every bone in my body, but I'll still be here. Every bone, huh? Coming right up, sir. <laughs> Get off him. Pete, are you all right? All right, all right. Stop me. You have no idea how much I've wanted this. Tim! Farewell, Luke. This is it. What the hell? Who the hell is... Kaya, get back! Sam, Kaya, it's about to get really cold in here. Sam, you're going to destroy the greenhouse. Don't do this! It's the only way to stop him! Sam, you're depressurizing the greenhouse. I know. You're... You'll kill us all! I learned from the best, Tim. <laughs> I'm impressed, Sam. I didn't think you had the stones to do it yourself. <laughs> Nicole, we don't need this. Not come near me, Kaya. This piece of shit's been deserving oh. this for way too long. I swear if you try to stop me. You know David, Tim. You murdered him. Knock off the talking and do it already. You want me to kill you? I'll do it. I'd love to see you do it. Come on, bitch, do it. Oh, no, don't put, put the scalper oh, down. I dare you. Nicole, drop it. Nicole, Nicole. 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 Wait, you're... Really? Yes. Well, why... Why did you tell me when... Because pregnancies are forbidden. That's policy. Look at what's going on, Walter. There's 12 of us left. 12! And Nicole's about to make it 11! Or 10! Or how? Why stop there, Nicole? I... I'm sorry, Walter. I, uh, I don't, excuse us, huh, shit. I'm sorry, Walter, I'm, just, 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 just let me, let me, Walter, I, I'm sorry. I, I know I should have told you when I knew, but I was terrified. <laughs> Walter? Abby, you're... we're, we're going to have a child. I never, never, ever apologize for this. We, we need this. But I, what are we going to do? The world's going to shit. Let it. The world's been going to shit all our lives. No matter if it's Earth or Mars, we're still here. We're still together. And now, my God, Abby. My God, I love you, Abby Murdoch. Oh, what a miracle. Ooh, a baby. Ooh, what shall we call him? This is such a... <laughs> you know, Nicole, there's going to be a day when you're going to regret all of this. I'll worry about it when it comes. I'm going to grab David and bury him. Better dig a hole for yourself, Nicole. Your time's coming. Nicole, settle. Yeah, listen to your fearless leader, the one responsible for letting all this happen in the first place. Chloe, where's your morphine at? Um, I'll get it. You know what the punishment for mutiny is? Sam knows. Yes. Yes, I do. Lifetime imprisonment, up to execution. That's right. And Thank all you. of you are subject to charges of mutiny. Who's going to charge us, shithead? Kaya, don't. Oh, yes, the fearless leader. Sam, it's 
It's okay, Paul. And Nader tried to compliment her on the good work she'd been doing, and she literally spits in my face. Nader, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for what I've done. I had to depressurize the greenhouse. I felt like it was the, the only way to stop him. I take full responsibility, and tomorrow I will lead the recovery efforts and begin the process again. I know this was a terrible thing to do, Nada. I... I don't ask for your forgiveness. I needed to stop him from destroying everything. This was the only way. What are you whispering to her? I'm apologizing, Commander Conrad. Come on, do you want to have a little heart-to-heart chat with me now? You don't have to whisper, Sam. My ears are wide open. I am sorry, everyone. What I've done. I've destroyed months and months of hard work you've all put in. Oh, stop. I'm going to start bawling. Every one of us have worked so hard to try to get those seeds in the greenhouse to sprout. Months and months of work. And I've killed it. I'm very sorry for what I've done. He needed to be stopped. And I thought the only way to stop him was to use his own ideas against him. It worked, Sam. I knew Tim wouldn't have done it. You don't think so? But I needed to. I would have totally done it. He had just killed David, and he was about to kill Luke. I needed to do it. It was the only way I could have stopped him. Paul Kirsch is one of my oldest friends. We were best men at each other's weddings. He's one of the most dedicated, hardest working, best people I've ever known. Elena Torres and I didn't get along at times, but I loved her for that. She questioned orders, and she displayed moments of dissension. And I appreciated her honesty. These two, along with Orlando and Jennifer, were like siblings of mine. I love them like siblings. Our fearless leader is a bleeding heart. Oh, how precious. Oh, Jesus. Mother, fuck! You knocked a tooth out. You've got 31 more. Here. For the pain. What are you doing? Hey, hey! I knew you would have never destroyed the greenhouse, Tim. You know why? Because for how little you value the lives of others in this mission... You value yourself more than anything. If you would have destroyed the greenhouse, you would have been killing yourself. There's no way you would have done it. I know you miss Lisa, Tim. We all do. You have no room to talk of my wife, traitor. You didn't used to be like this, Tim. But maybe you always were. And Lisa was the part of you that made you human. We all miss her, though. When she died, so did your humanity. You have no idea what you're talking about, Sam. Do you know the difference between you and I, Tim? Why I think you weren't chosen for the first mission? I'm not afraid to show fear. I've been terrified every day since we landed. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. Commander... Huh? You... You are our commander, Sam. No. We need you, Sam. (sighs) Commander Flynn, we're here to serve you. Kaya. Oh, Commander, save us. This is never going to stop. What do we do about them? The silly, traitorous bastard. (sighs) Chloe... Make sure Paul, Pete, and Ada have what they need. Then meet us in the CC in two hours. Someone get a hold of Abby and Walter and tell them to report to the CC in two hours. Luke, Kaya, if you don't mind, Nicole may need some help with... It's all good, Sam. We'll assist. No problem at all, Sam. Thank you. Vasily, help me with Tim and Connor. We're going to take him to the CC and arrange for a trial. A trial? This is goddamn ridiculous. Sounds good, sir. This is never going to stop. Uh, 
the inn? Should we dig deeper? No, it's deep enough. Okay. Oh God. Uh, Nicole, David? give me your hand. Let me help you up. Beside his love, Alina Torres, alongside their friends, James Wilson, Andrew Wood, Beth Anders, and the possessions of their friends, Orlando De Luca and Jennifer Simmons. It's taken too soon. He, he was born in Israel, but moved to the United States at a very young age. The last person to exist from Israel. David and I met in grade school in Spokane. Best friends almost immediately. There was never any romance between us. Uh, our friendship was more important. Most of his friends were girls. <laughs> My girlfriends always thought he was gay because of this. We used to go rafting and climbing every weekend. <laughs> I used to buy weed off of him until we joined the Air Force together. He would come to me for advice on anything. Girls, family shit, personal stuff, everything. I introduced him to Alina. To see someone you've known all your life and suddenly seeing this new great side of him open up. He was so beautiful. <laughs> it shouldn't be like this. We shouldn't be burying them. God damn it, David. But we can start to undo what's been done, Cole. And make those responsible answer. You're right. Look, you're, you're right. We best finish this up. I'm sorry, Kaya. I'm sorry I threatened you and pointed a knife at you. Nothing to apologize for, Nicole. Out of sight, out of mind. Goodbye, David. I'll never forget this. So, what's all this then? A trial. For team in corner. For what? For them? We must have justice. You're a disgrace, Vasily. An utter disgrace. They're guilty. Why have a trial? Sentencing. Please be seated, everybody. This meeting is not to determine the guilt or innocence of these two men, but to let them hear the charges and to devise suitable punishments. Right, the motherfuckers. Good God. We'll get to the sentencing, Nicole. First, we need to have them hear the charges. Commander Timothy Conrad, Lieutenant Connor Nye, you are hereby officially removed of any authoritative power you previously held, either awarded to you or self-proclaimed. <laughs> Great. He's trying to act like a lawyer now. From this point, I, Commander Sam Flynn, assume control of Mekti's mission. Following the chain of command, the descending line is as follows. Myself, Paul, Abby, Nicole, Nada, Walter, Chloe, Pete, Luke, Vasily, Kaya. Paul, Pete, and Nada are currently out of my commission, which means you're my second in command, Abby. What? Are you serious? It's protocol, Abby. Commander Conrad, these are your charges. First degree murder of David Stern, attempted first degree murder of pilot Paul Kirsch. Don't forget about Orlando and Jennifer. I hate to say it, Kaya, but everything he did, every move he made against Orlando and Jennifer, he was completely within the confines of his power. Bullshit. Yes, Kaya. Even a treacherous bleeding heart like Sam isn't a complete fool. Everything else, though, you are charged with attempted murder of a fellow crew member Specialist Luke Heshe. Assault of crew members, most notably specialists Pete Ross and Nada Morozov. 
conspiracy, threatening the destruction of the colony and in effect the lives of the entire crew. Lieutenant Connor Nye, you have been charged with the assault of multiple crew members. You've been charged with sabotaging a MECT vehicle to be used in rescue operations, resulting in the deaths of two of your fellow crew members. Oh, come on! Pete fixed it! First degree murder of Alina Torres, as well as conspiracy to cover it up. Attempted first degree murder of Paul Kirsch. The both of you have been charged and have been found guilty. We will be discussing sentencing. But I assume you both have an idea of what it will entail. Is there anything you would like to say? Yes. You belong up here with us, Sam. Withholding critical information from your crew, you let members of your crew conspire against your orders. You murdered your second-in-command, the very man who's responsible for your being a commander. You incited a mutiny against your commander, putting not only your crew members in danger, but the colony itself. You destroyed the greenhouse's supply, which... You mother... Specialist Snow. You held a knife to your crew member, Kaya Osen, and threatened her. That was You also took part in launching this mutiny. You belong up here, Nicole. Bullshit! Commander, can we wrap this up and toss him out? Nicole, the- he's right. I hate to say it, but the man's right. I have no room to pass judgment. I can't lead. I'm 100% guilty of my crimes. And there were witnesses to your actions too, Nicole. Judgment must pass to the next in chain of command. What the hell is that? Abby, command of Colony 1 is yours. The judgment and sentencing of those charged lies with you. What? He's right, Abby. You're in charge. I... I I don't want to be... Oh, of course you do, Abby. You were a candidate for this job from the very beginning. Now the job is yours. Sam's right, this is protocol. No. I'm not doing this. Abby? Psh. Figures. I knew she never had what it takes. Walter? Yeah. You have to. This isn't my mess. You figure it out. Wow. Great crew members you have, Sam. Very loyal. Chloe, please do this. I... Why? Because you're next in the chain of command. Also, you've got the most objective mind of all of us. Objective? There's no one better suited. Are you serious? Ah, uh, she's one of them. Chloe? Really? Of course. Please. Do this, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Come on. Chloe. Come on. Chloe. 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 Shut up. Major Listen to me. Come on. Shut, on. shut up. Up. Please up. Please do this. Can you all shut the fuck up? Shut up. Shut up. Just shut the fuck up. I'm so fucking tired of this. I'm sorry, Chloe. Luke? No. No, Sam. There's not going to be any goddamn executions. This fucking stops now. All of you, shut up. I am tired of it. I'm tired of it, Abby. I needed to get away. Must be nice to have a place like the Observatory online for you to escape to, though. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Bring something up, Walter. Show me Saturn. Hmm. Saturn, eh? Let me look up the coordinates. You have to look up coordinates for Saturn. I seem to have forgotten over the past months. Let's see. Seriously, Walter, we need to come up with some kind of game plan. What are we going to do? Well, we have more than enough room to make a nursery now. Unfortunately. We'll make it work, Abby. This world around us is ending. But we at least have a next chapter. We have a future. All of them in the CC, they can do whatever the hell they want. But I have you, Abby. And we have this. No one can take this away from us. Out of all this terror, we've actually created something. Months and months of pain and suffering, and we've made life. You have no idea how happy this makes me. How happy you've made me, Abby. How did I end up with such a romantic, <laughs> sweetest, most... What's that? Hmm? On, on the telescope's monitor, you see it at the top left corner, blue-green glowing ball. Oh, yeah, I see it. Hmm. Ah. Let Mr. Astronomy solve your mystery. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not going to pass 
any sentencing. I'm not commanding anything. You have to. No, Sam. I don't. You all keep preaching protocol and command all the damn time. And look at where we are. Look. Look at where it's gotten us. Ever since we've launched, I've been cleaning up death and wounds constantly. I have seen people I've known for years die in my arms. I chose to forego everything back home. For this? For this? Loving siblings, two dogs, a great rewarding job, a marriage for the likes of you people. And how has fate rewarded me for my decision? I'm sick and tired of this. I am tired of hearing the word dissension. I'm tired of hearing Connor talk. I'm, I'm tired of hearing you all groan and convulse and fade away. And I am tired of seeing my friends for the last time with their faces being covered up in dirt. I have fucking had it. I mean, what the hell is the matter with all of you? We weren't sent here to do this. What have we accomplished? Not a goddamn thing. That's what. What did all of them die for, huh? Hiroku, Andrew, Jackie, Tina, Beth, Rachel, Fedor, I mean, James, Orlando, Jennifer, and the rest of everyone on our ship and back home. What were their deaths worth? Why is it that once we realize that we were the last humans left, we start dying? What the fuck is wrong with us? We were supposed to be the torchbearers of life on Earth. We were supposed to symbolize the best of humanity. This is the best of humanity? I've got it. All we've done since we've arrived is proved that we are the worst. We should never have said yes to this, none of us. We should have taken one more day to think about what we were going to do. One more day to finally realize that we were making a huge mistake. We all should have stayed on Earth. <laughs> and get blasted by the GRB? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. That's weird. Yes, Tim. That's freaky. That is what I am saying. Better people should have been taken on this mission. We have disgraced our friends and our family. We've disgraced the human race. We never should have left and died with the people that we loved. It's somewhere on the outer reaches of the asteroid belt. So to answer your question, Abby, it's not Neptune. It's not a moon, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Best check again. What it is is the question. Increasing magnification. It's not a comet, is it? Or, or a meteorite? No, it can't be a meteorite or a com... A com... No. No, no, no way. Abby, go to that console. I need you to look up something. Once it comes up, read me its trajectory history. What am I looking up? Type in C slash 2033A2. No fucking way. It can't be right. All right. It's not... Oh, so it was... Click the link on the left where it says trajectory history. Okay. What's up, Walter? To tell you the truth, if this is what I suspect, what does the data say? <sighs> it's been so where do we go from here? Man. The hell if I know, Sam. But if we're really going to try and eke out a living, if we really want to try and live another day, can I make a suggestion, please? What? Tim and Connor, keep them contained. They have caused enough damage. Why even let them live for all they've done? Because if we don't stop this now, it will never end, Nicole. What frequency is that? Abby, keep up. Walter, what the fuck is going on? Why are you so spooked? Come on! Look, I don't want to die. Maybe some of you really want to, but I don't. All right, there are still people here that I care about. Sam, I, I don't think anyone should be a commander of this mission anymore. I mean, it obviously hasn't done any good for us. 
But we have work to do, if any of you want to live. Hey, Kaya, where are the transmissions saved when they are auto-recorded? Huh? Oh, in the, uh... Oh, wait, I found it. <sighs> Whose voices? I have to patch up Pete's stab wound. You all do whatever the hell you want. Holy yeah. shit! Vasily? Vasily? Vasily, what's wrong? What is it? She... What? Vasily, breathe. What's the matter? Kaya, does the frequency 162.6125 mean anything to you? Um, I think that's the frequency for Edward's... Vasily. Oh! Shit! Kaya? Vasily, what, oh. what's going on? Oh! Sam, Fuck. here. I'll unplug my headset. What the hell is wrong with Messy one. Messy one. Oh, fuck. Rachel? This is Rachel. I've returned to Earth. Repeat, I have returned to Earth. This is Rachel Yoshida, trying to contact Mech-T-1 from Edwards Air Force Base. Repeat, this is Rachel Yoshida, sending a transmission from Edwards Air Force Base. There are survivors. Repeat, there are survivors. Not many, but there are survivors. I'll remain here until I hear back. Rachel out. Oh my god. He was right. Andrew was right. Walter? Sam, it's coming! What? What's coming? Walter? The comet! It's coming. It's coming right for us. 